we gonna make some chili. All right, gals. We are gonna make chili today. So first we're gonna add the canned ingredients. Honestly, most of it comes from the can into our crock pot. So we are gonna add beans. You can help me. Okay, thank you. All right, so we are going to do three cans of beans. So I use these chili hot beans Kroger baby and three cans of those well I use two cans and one can of kidney beans it's really three cans of any beans pinto beans are pretty good too any beans three cans then you want to add diced papa papa you want to have diced tomatoes so these chili ready tomatoes three cans of tomatoes. Well, okay, I do two cans of these and one can of Rotel. Rotel tomatoes are kind of spicy and they have green chilies in them. So, those are the canned ingredients. And you add them to the crock pot. To chop our vegetables, I have two green peppers, a red pepper, an onion and a jalapeno and what do you know this pepper was pregnant this was inside its little baby we'll add it to the chili now we're going to add our veggies we have our bell peppers into the crock pot you go then we also have our onions and jalapenos into the crock pot you go and then once you get everything in there you're gonna stir it together mm, look at those veggies we gotta stir them in good Next we have to cook our meat, so I do one pack of Italian sausage and one pack of ground beef. We're going to cook those up. You also got to cook your sausage. Once that's done, you're going to add your all your meat to the chili, obviously drain the grease out, and you can also substitute this for vegetarian meat if you want some vegetarian chili. All right, so stir all the meat in to your chili. And I know it seems very thick right now, but as it cooks, all of the juices from the vegetables are gonna thin it out. So don't worry if it seems chunky. The juices of the vegetables will thin it out. All right, so lastly, we gotta season this, baby. So we're gonna add some pepper. I kinda like a lot of pepper, but. Okay, then minced garlic. Don't be shy with the minced garlic. It is delicious. Whammo, put a big spoonful in there. A little more, you know, it's a big pot of chili, so. I'm gonna stir that in a little bit. I'll stir it some more. And, and then, you are gonna add a ton of chili powder. I know it seems like a lot, but it's what gives the chili its like chili flavor. So put chili powder that baby up. See, it seems like a lot, but it's really not. Cause that's like the it's chili you gotta have the chili powder right so you're gonna stir in all your seasoning I don't really put salt in it you know salt's not that good for you anyways gotta watch the blood pressure you know and that's how you make the chili you're gonna let it cook for a couple hours um, the longer it cooks, the better it is, but you know, it smells good. You can eat it. 
and then you keep cooking it, eat some more later. That's what I do. And that is the chili. And dun dun dun. Voila. Beautiful, delicious chili. Mm-hmm. Yeah.